the era of huge acreage of land for agriculture is gradually changing into maximization of smaller spaces that can still create the essence of food production and as well create businesses for young people. We are here today talking to Zakaria and Bashiru. And Bashiru. We want to understand their world. We want to understand the business they do. We want to understand how they got into market gardening and what kind of livelihoods they are able to create out of it as young entrepreneurs. We will also be exploring the challenges they are confronted with. So, welcome, Bashiru. Thank you very much. Zakaria, welcome. I mean, this is a, a great um, experience we are getting here. Young people, you did not uh, actually find yourself in places where you could be attached to criminal activities. You have taken advantage of spaces around you and you are trying to create livelihoods out of them. Before we get into our discussion, I want to know a little bit more about you, your background. Let's start with you, Zakaria. I mean, where do you come from? I'm from the north and I came in Accra 2014. Okay. And I started farming in 2015. All right. At this place, Jordan Since 2014, you have been here in Accra yes. doing this kind of farming. Any educational background? Yes. Okay, share a little about your educational background. I'm not able to complete that essay. The year I will complete the essay is the same year I came. Oh, okay. What motivated you to get into this kind of agricultural business? Mm, it's because I use the. Uh, I also buy some to eat to cook for myself, and I also you buy what to eat. I buy the vegetable. Okay. To cook and eat, and I also see that why don't if I'm also farming and I'm be eating some and also sell some. Yes. So is that. Uh, during that time, I came to the farm and joined the farmers, and they did me like this. How were you able to get the space? I come and meet the old man here working on the field, and like he's, he's, he's too old, he, he can't work anymore. So, and you see how courage I, the courage I have, and they give it to me, make up working, and he too go be getting the food, uh, the food have some to be for consumption, and if I also have some small money, I can do also support him. Okay, so now you're supplying food yes. and there's some money out of the profit you make from yes. sales, right? Yes. Great. How important would you say a business like this is to you as a young person? The business is important to me because I do 50% of what I eat. Okay. And I get some money from my pocket and some money to for my uh, reserve for some other projects. Yes. Yes. Um, we're hearing interesting comments from Zakaria. What about you? Where did you come from? How did you get into this business? I took after my grandfather, the completion of my senior high. Where? The senior high school? Birmingham campuses. Okay. So, it's which course? I'm interested. Which course did you read? Actually, I did be civilian building construction. Building and construction? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. So, when I finished the course, I had some challenges, I couldn't be better anymore. But I don't want to also find myself into doing most of the social life that people are talking about. So like Sakawa. Like Sakawa, <laughs> uh, Betty, and so on and so on. So uh, I used to come from school, maybe weekend, uh, weekends, to come and help my grandfather or something like that. But when I completed the school and I sat over here for one month, I see that nothing is moving. So I'm following back to the farm one day. Then where, where, where was his farm? The farm is just opposite the Fiesta, the Royal Hotel, and the Old. So I followed him there one day. Then I can see that there's a lot of opportunity on the farm. Because though he's a good man, uh, now he's getting older, the strength is not there. You can see all, all, all the time, his focus is at one corner. Then I said to myself, why can't I also do something there? Then from then I started uh, giving myself the, the, this one, the opportunity of the land that is having out. So you saw a certain need yeah. and you realized that you could capitalize on the need to create opportunity for yourself. Yeah. How has it gone so far? Now we thank God everything is working well. I say you are working 
what kind of crops was it into or vegetables was it into and what are you currently adding to it? Hey, my grandfather was only focused on planting the uh, lettuce and cucumber and sometimes too because they are from the north they normally do maize and this was seasonal farming so at that time they used the whole farm to plant or portion of the farm to plant some maize for their consumption for their families and the rest they use it for their commercial which is cabbage and cucumber and lettuce okay so but when i come uh, if i can farm and get money okay? why not allow him to stop the maize so that when you farm you buy some but for now we are let maximize production so specifically what kind of crops are you growing now i added the uh, other things to it maybe uh, we have this one, something we call that helps call it mint. We call mint. It mint. Okay. We call other one to a basil. Basil. We have the coriander. Coriander. Okay. Yeah. We have this one to celery. Celery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we are going. And sometimes we do kale and broccoli and the cauliflower and so on and so on. What motivated you to go into those particular vegetables? There should be a reason. Uh, people are having, people like party. I can say Ghanaians like party. Ghanaians like to party. So, the, most, <laughs> most of the time they use this thing. Most of the herbs to do their garnishing. Talking about mint, talking about uh, this one, this basil, and also this one is parsley, parsley and kale. Okay. And sometimes we even use this one deal to do the garnish. So there's a business. Yeah. So you saw that there is an opportunity there and you capitalize. Yeah. What is your story like, Zachariah? Uh, May I grow the a lot of herbs and spices, the kale, parsley, dill, fennel, roca, arugula, because uh, those herbs is foreign people who are buying. Oh, okay. Uh, and foreign people are buying, maybe foreign people like uh, Burkina, people from Burkina, no, like Europe or India. Okay. And that's why I'm going, and they also like it a lot because uh, sometimes they go to somewhere to buy, but they don't get. It. But if they come here, they get it, and they, uh, I also sell them uh, at a good price. Great. That's so, why I focus on the herbs. Fine. So you took over from an old man. Yes. What was he growing initially? The old man was growing cabbage, onion, and the uh, round onions, then meat. And uh, there is something called uh, garden eggs, but it's white. I don't know. But me, I never grew those kind of 